looks like it's coming from an underground complex a few clicks away from the drop zone.
Citadel, I mean. Ready. Sony, I presume? Thank the goddess. I did not think anyone would come looking for me. Listen, this thing I'm in is a Prothean security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, alright? There's some kind of repulsion field in the way. It's, it's a, a Prothean barrier curtain. I knew it would keep me safe from the Geth. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. Any suggestions on how we can help? There is a control in here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. That's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be shut off from the outside. I don't know how you'll get in here. Be careful. There is a Krogan with the Geth. They have been trying different ways to get past the barrier. How did you get in here? I didn't think there was any way past the barrier. We blasted through with the mining laser. Of course. Yes, that makes sense. Please, 
Get me out of here before more Geth arrive. That button over there should shut down this containment field. Hold on, Commander. Her mother's working with Saren. Can we trust her? I am not my mother. I don't even... I don't know why Benezia joined Saren. I don't want anything to do with that Turian bastard. If she was with Saren, the Geth wouldn't be trying to kill her. Any idea how we get out of this place? There is an elevator back in the center of the tower. At least I, I think it's an elevator. It should take us out of here. Come on! I, I still cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Benezia's involved? Saren's looking for the conduit. Think fast, Miss Brothian expert. The conduit? But I don't know... What the hell was that? These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. Joker! Get the Normandy airborne and lock in on my signal! On the double, mister! Aye aye, Commander. Secure and away. ETA eight minutes. Gonna be close, Skipper. reason you're in my way? The same reason you're here. The Asari. Thanks for getting rid of those energy fields for us. Hand the doctor over. Whatever it is you want, you are not getting it from me. Is this really the time? The atmosphere is perfect for our life and death struggle. Kill them. Spare the Asari if you can. If not, doesn't matter.
Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. We almost died out there and your pilot is making jokes? It's a coping mechanism. You'll get used to it. I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there, and not just from the volcano. Those Geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. Did your research turn up anything interesting? What is interesting is what I did not turn up. There is remarkably little archaeological evidence of the Protheans, and even less that might explain why they disappeared. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. What cycle? What are you talking about? The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines. The Reapers. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What evidence do you have? There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. A beacon? Yes, that makes sense. But the beacons were not programmed to interact with human physiology. I am surprised you were able to make any sense of it at all. It's just a bunch of random images, even after I got the cipher. The cipher? Some Asari mumbo jumbo. Supposed to help the commander think like a Prothean. I don't know if it worked though. The Cypher altered my perception of the visions, but it's subtle. I still can't make sense of what I'm seeing. And this was something another Asari did to you? Hmm. Commander, with your permission, I would like to try something. You were touched by the beacon. The visions are locked away inside your mind. One of my people gave you a deeper understanding of the visions, but you still cannot put all the pieces of the puzzle together. I might be able to help you. What do you have in mind? Like the Asari who gave you the cipher, I can join my consciousness to yours. Maybe my knowledge of the Protheans will help clarify your vision. Nobody's messing with my head anymore. I am sick of dealing with these visions. I understand your reluctance, Commander. But the visions are already there. I only want to help you make sense of them. It may be the only way to stop Saren. Looks like I don't have a choice. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity! <laughs> Incredible. All this time, all my research, yet I... I never dreamed. I am sorry. The images were so vivid. I, I never imagined the experience would be so... intense. You are remarkably strong-willed, Commander. What you have been through, what you have seen, would have destroyed a lesser mind. Come on, get to the point. What'd you see? The beacon on Eden Prime must have been badly damaged. Large parts of the vision are missing. The data transferred into the Commander's mind is incomplete. Looks like we're back where we started. Quite the opposite, Commander. I think my knowledge of the Protheans will prove useful before this is over. 
Saren knew you were touched by the beacon on Eden Prime. He probably came after me because he feared I could help you understand it. I was able to interpret the data relayed through your vision, what was there at least. Find the missing portion and I am confident I can put all the pieces together. Good to have you on the team, Liara. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you ate? Or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion, coupled with the shock of discovering the Protheans' true fate. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? We can talk again after you've seen the doctor. The rest of you, dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. We've received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Normandy. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. Liara is on our side. The Geth were trying to kill her. Benezia would never allow Saren to kill her daughter. Maybe she doesn't know. Or maybe we don't know her. We never expected she could become a traitor. At least the mission was a success. Apart from the utter destruction of a major Prothean ruin. Was that really necessary, Shepard? I don't need this. <laughs> Communications cut, Commander. Something I can do for you, Commander. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, Commander. Oh, hello, Shepard. What's your problem? Never mind. It's nothing. I'll be fine. I didn't mean to snap at you. What's wrong? I don't know. Your ship is amazing, and your crew's been really great to me. Especially your chief engineer. But I just sort of feel... out of place. The Normandy runs so smooth, it feels like we're not even moving. And the engines are so quiet. How do you sleep at night? You'll get used to it. But it's more than just a silence. This ship feels so empty. It's like half the crew is missing. Back home, I couldn't wait to go on my pilgrimage. I couldn't wait to get away from the crowds. Now that I'm out here... I kind of miss them. I need my crew to be in top form. I can't have you daydreaming about going home. Don't worry, Shepard. I know what's at stake. If we don't stop Seren, I won't have a home to go back to. I'll be ready when you need me. I should go. See you later. Why did you want to be a C-Sec officer in the first place? Hmm, that's a good question. There were several reasons, I guess. Like what? Probably the same as most officers. I wanted to fight injustice, wanted to help people. I guess my father had something to do with it, too. He was C-Sec, one of the best. I grew up hearing about his accomplishments or seeing his picture on the vids after a big arrest. He's taking my resignation pretty hard. He's not impressed that you're going after Saren? My father's a C-Sec man to the bone. Do things right, or don't do them at all, he says. He thinks I'm being too rash, too impatient. He's worried I'll become just like Saren. He actually talked me out of becoming a Spectre when I was younger, for the same reasons. You were asked to be a Spectre? Well, I was targeted as a possible Spectre candidate. Me and about a thousand other Turian military recruits. I could have received special training, but my father didn't like it. He despises the Spectres. 
He hates the idea of someone having unlimited power with no accountability. He wouldn't like you, Commander. No offense. Not all Spectres are like Saren, you know. Of course not. But Saren's not gonna play by our rules. C-Sex rules. If you want to nail Saren, you need to send someone who isn't restricted by policies and procedures. Don't get caught up in the details, Garrus. We'll find him, and then we'll stop him. That's all you need to know. Good point. Thanks, Commander. Commander? What's your opinion of the last mission? Not sure I buy Dr. Tassoni's story, about her and her mom not talking. They're family, right? Not everyone has a happy family life. I know. But I'm not gonna bet she's on our side just because Benezia didn't hug her enough. I'll keep an eye on her. Too bad those ruins got destroyed. I mean, they lasted thousands of years. That's impressive. Do you have a few minutes to talk? One-on-one? -on -one? Sure. I, I was hoping to get a minute of your time. Off the record. Is this duty related, Chief? No, ma'am. Well, maybe. I know things are different aboard the Normandy, but I'm concerned about the Turian, Vicarian. With all due respect, Commander, should he have full access to the ship? Don't mince words, Chief. What's your concern? This is the most advanced ship in the Alliance Navy. I don't think we should give him free reign to poke around the vital systems. Engines, sensors, weapons. I'm not gonna lock him in a sleeper pod for the whole trip, Williams. I'd be more comfortable if he didn't have access to engineering in the CIC. We... humanity, I mean, have to learn to rely on ourselves. How do you get from relying on ourselves to mistreating our allies? I don't mean we should mistreat them, Commander. I just think we should be prepared to go it without them. As noble as the council members seem now, if their backs are against the wall, they'll abandon us. I don't see that as inevitable. Look, if you're fighting a bear, and the only way for you to survive is to sick your dog on it and run, you'll do it. As much as you love your dog, it isn't human. It's not racism, not really. Members of their species will always be more important to them than humans are. You sound like one of those terra firma party pamphlets, Chief. Terra firma is a pack of jackals. The founders had ideals. These days they just play off xenophobia and bigotry. I hope my reasons are more rational. My father, grandfather, great-grandmother, they all picked up a rifle and swore the oath of service. I guess we just tend to think of Earth's interests as our own. It doesn't sound like you've worked with aliens before. No, ma'am. Mainly I've been groundside, part of the surface garrison forces. I did get a rotation on a space station for training. Every Marine a rifleman, every rifleman ZG certified. That's odd. Your record is spotless, and your technical scores are exemplary. You should be serving with the fleet. Anyway, that's why I haven't served with many aliens, Commander. I come from a military family, too. My parents were both Navy. Anybody in your family we might know? Couldn't say, Commander. We probably have a lot in common. You join up to carry on the tradition? I don't think they meant to start a family tradition, but after 16 years on ships and stations, how could I spend my life on the ground? You're lucky. I spent most of my career as groundside garrison. All right, I can see where your concerns are coming from, Williams. But this is a multilateral mission. You're gonna have to work with aliens, like it or not. It won't be a problem, Commander. You say jump, I say how high. You tell me to kiss a Torian, I'll ask which cheek. I'm glad there won't be a problem. Anything else you need, Commander? Dismissed, Chief. Ma'am. Commander, do you have a minute? What's on your mind, Lieutenant? Off the record, I think there's something wrong here. This Saren is looking for records on some kind of galactic extinction, but we can't get backup from the Council? Sorry, Commander. There's writing on the wall here, but someone isn't reading it. 
We'll get things done. I'd rather operate independently than have the brass on our backs anyway. I hear you. It, it just seems like a group that's been around as long as the Council should see this coming. I mean, it's funny, we finally get out here and the final frontier was already settled. And the residents don't even seem impressed by the view. Or the dangers. Well, well. You're a romantic. Did you sign on for the dream, Malenko? Secure a man's future in space? <laughs> yeah, I, re I read a lot of those books when I was a kid, where the hero goes to space to prove himself worthy of a woman he loves, or, you know, for justice. Now, maybe I was a romantic in the beginning, but I thought about it after brain camp. Uh, sorry. Biotic acclimation and temperance training. I'm not looking for the dream. I just want to do some good. See what's out here. Sorry if I got too informal. Protocol wasn't a big focus back in Bot. Tell me about it. Biotic acclimation and temperance didn't last past the airlock. To the kids they hauled in, it was brain camp. Sorry, hauled in is unkind. We were encouraged to commit to an evaluation of our abilities so an understanding of biotics could be compiled. There are worse results of accidental exposure to element zero in the womb. Beats the brain tumors some kids grew up with. Seems like you beat the odds. How many didn't make it? Out of a hundred, maybe sixty have no effect. Thirty suffer adverse effects, little things like brain cancer. The other ten show enough ability to augment with implants. Not always permanent, though. Not like the cancer. Next thing you know, you're out on jump zero. And how's a kid supposed to deal with that? A station at the edge of human space. Jump Zero is Gagarin Station, right? What's it like? Yeah, that's the official name. Biggest and farthest facility we had for decades. Right on the termination shock, the outer edge of the solar system. It's where they did all the goose chase FTL research before we caught on to using mass effect fields. It was a sterile research platform when I was there. There were other kids in the same boat, right? At least you weren't alone out there. That's true. We did have a little circle that'd get together every night before lights out. We didn't have much to do, though. It was a research platform then, and Kinetics kept Jump Zero off the extranet to prevent leaks. You were all teenagers. I'm sure you found other ways to occupy the time. I'm not the sort who does that kind of thing, Commander. Not lightly, anyway. There was a girl I spent a lot of time with, but we kept our clothes on. Rana. She was from Turkey. Her family was very rich. But she was smart. And charming as hell. Beautiful. But not stuck up about it. Like you, I guess. Ma'am. Sounds like she was special to you. She was. Maybe she felt the same. But things never felt together. Training, you know. There were other kids in the same boat, right? That's true. We did. We didn't have much to do, though. It was a research plan. Then you must have had plenty of time to get to know each other. Yeah. We'd sit around and bull every night after dinner, play cards or network games. There was this girl named Rana. She was from Turkey. Or like you, I guess. You know of any intentional exposures for certain? No one knows. Doesn't mean they didn't happen. As big as the exposures were, it was hard to track down accidentals. It was different then. No one knew the potential, so there wasn't a lot of regulation. Anything Kinetics did was gold. I'm not saying they intentionally detonated drives over our outposts, but in retrospect, they were damn quick on the scene. Jump Zero is a long way from home. What was it like? The grand gateway to humanity looks a lot better in the vids. This was supposed to be a casual debrief, not a bull session about stuff that happened years ago. I wanted to get to know you a little better. That's all. Thanks for the talk, Caden. Well, you're welcome, ma'am. You, uh, make a habit of getting this personal with everyone? No, no I don't. We'll talk again later. I'll, uh, I'll need some time to process that, Commander. But, yeah, I'd like that.
Commander, are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I never properly thanked you for saving me from the Geth, Commander. If you hadn't shown up, I... I'm just glad we got there in time. So am I. I know you took a chance bringing me aboard this ship. I have seen the way your crew looks at me. They do not trust me. But I am not like Benezia. I will do whatever I can to help you stop Saren. I promise. Promises are easy to make, but hard to keep. I do not begrudge you your suspicions. I just hope in time you will come to trust me. Tell me about yourself, Liara. Me? I am afraid I am not very interesting, Commander. I spend most of my time on remote digs, unearthing mundane items buried in long-forgotten Prothean ruins. You must enjoy something about it. I love my work. Seeking out history's lost secrets has a special appeal for me. You were actually touched by working Prothean technology. That is why I find you so fascinating, Commander. I'm not some artifact you can take back to your lab, Doctor. I... I am sorry, Commander. I did not mean it like that. I... I just... I am used to dealing with computers and data disks. I am not very good with people. I let my professional curiosity get the better of me. Please forgive me. Let us talk about something else. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Good timing, Commander. We got a transmission coming in from the Citadel. Top priority clearance. Is it the Ambassador? It's not his signature. I think it's from the Council. I'll patch it through to the comm room. <laughs> 